I'm so happy for Afro. Music originated in Africa from the Congo beat of the Africa finally has a has a sound. So I'm excited and Afro not taking nothing from them. Pan African lifestyle. Welcome to Pan African Lifestyle, where we rep the motherland. We post content regularly and invite you to subscribe and share if you're a pal. That's a Pan African lifestyler. Hell yeah, Afrobeat has nothing to do with dancing. Afrobeat is another genre. Yeah, Afrobeat never came in competition with dancehall or came with intent to take something from dancehall. I don't know why people keep kept on comparing Afrobeat and dancehall. Why? Afrobeat is like a baby from dancehall. It's, it's a relative. Afrobeat and Jamaican music is, is similar music, African and Jamaican music. I'm so happy for Afro. Music originated in Africa from the Congo beat of the Africa finally has a, has a sound. So I'm excited and Afro not taking nothing from dancehall. Afro compliments dancehall. He's just the topics. Dancehall artists don't have any topics. They are stupid. They are singing some regional things, some corner argument. They are not singing host old argument where every household understand what this means. People can relate to that in every nation and every country. How far that goes? Fool, fool. People as I sing for around the road. So that's why Afro leaning, Afro have topic, Afro, all right, Afro don't even have lyrics. Afro beat don't even have no lyrics. They have a lot of melody, groove, and topic. Style, melody, topic. Simple. One word. With a lot of melody and the beat nice and full of style and go. We don't want nothing more Jamaican music to technical. I tell you all type of thing and them are singing a metaphor like them read the wire. What them I say? Why are you singing to us in metaphor? You make it simply technical, not technically technical. This is how dance and music is today. Technically technical. They are making this the songs like it's a test. You have to figure it out and puzzle it out. Nobody don't want to puzzle music. We want music to relieve our stress. We are giving music with stress out of the All we hear is a fight we hear because you are singing and your nose and all them something there. That a mash up dance all is the creativity. They are not creative anymore. Any little fool in the one man want to get a ton in a song. How much nation you see a follow the little fool in the way you go sing? When you make the song, look on the nation and the world and talk to me. Don't look around the water, house and down the river, and I call it a bend, or see you, and I make the song. That's dancehall problem. The topic. The topics are limited. Simple. So that our artists them don't choose the topic right. The argument is regional, and we are singing now with one dialect, and we are talking to myself. So the music there does go in the diaspora. You know, come out. Simple. That's what the music wants to go back to the simple. Why do you think the nineties dancehall is the best one? Then no one of like a technical something where I tell you from the world is foolish. That's why nineties dancehall is the best one kind of telling a lie. Just talk to you and tell you the truth. He does free. No Petticoat. So the artists, they are very talented, even more than me. Because the style them with them are used and different. Great, but with topic is stupid. We need to look in the world and choose a topic to suit we and them. We can look around Jamaica and choose a topic that we sing in around here. So it's like all music selfish. It is not making for the universe is just making for the diaspora. It's like as far as Jamaican people there, and there's some music I'm making. Cause you are seeing just content that suits us. So the slang something them, you no know, go far. We want sang with universal topic or relatable argument. Household topics. Where every household understand and relate to. Then dance hall, we get back to where it work. But nothing wrong with dance hall. All dance hall I do. 
lose the feel, the music, and the topic's not right. If we fix that in groove, I will choose some better topic. Dance all is international, no, you know. This is not 1996 or 98 when we are fighting to get it on the international scene. It's out there now. Every nation knows dancehall music. And another thing, Afro artists don't fight each other. They have no beef, no pasta. All they have is music and dignity. Everybody are Africa link. Dancehall have too much segregation and too much conflicts. Those are some of the things we have to get rid of. Every Afro artist, we can't together, collaborate. We dance all artists, mm. segregate, mm. fight. Mm. So the strength of the music is against itself. It never comes together. Just like rap and pop, they all collaborate. Call it, can't call every big dance and put them by one. Shock. We can't call every big dance and put them by one. You're mad. Yeah, man. Cause them not, they them not like a one, they don't fight, fight a one. <laughs> so dance how this. And he know and tell you what, he's not just the money. No care how much money we have here, every dance I'll this them now go pound one really, right now. Man, I've called pride and in. So our artists them, them don't think for the music, don't stand them think for them own individual self. So everybody, I do for themselves what they now do for the music. Uh, uh, we never make it because we like each other or we care about each other. We are making it because the situation occurs and the music has to fix. So sometimes we have to put ego aside and do it for the music and the people. These artists don't do nothing for the music nor the people. Everything are for them one purpose and benefit. Jamaican rather fight against each other than fight for each other. There is no support from Minister of Entertainment or Culture, I mean, I know what them name. And they, not, they not do nothing about music like keep seminars or workshop, you know. But the government not have no input in it. They, they not do nothing for music or entertainment. Nope. We don't get no support. Thanks for tuning in to Pan-African Lifestyle. Share your thoughts in the comments section and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Pan-African Lifestyle to be inspired. For awesome pal merch, check out panafricanlifestyle.com slash shop. Keep repping the motherland. Pan-African Lifestyle.